This time we're doing the word hobbit. Okay, now let's see here. The simplest possible way to combine these letters would be H, O, now B. This is actually just the version that you would use at the beginning of a word. When it's not at the beginning of a word, you would add an extra line on the side. You would add it to the word line. So you would extend the word line down. This is not in and of itself a letter. And then you would add B, B, I, T. Okay, I didn't draw that very well, but you get the idea. Kind of neat. I like the look to it in some way. These are starting to maybe look like they could be two arms or something facing forward. Let's let's start using some more advanced combinations and see what we can't come up with. Now, the first thing we need to look at here is H. Okay, this is H and this is D. I bring up this because, as you can see, they're mirror images of each other. Now, when you start a word with the letter D, you would do this. D-O, for example. If you started a word with H-O, you would do this. Now, we can eliminate this because we know this is not a D up here. Why? Because it doesn't have this bar. It's mandatory. The same rules apply in reverse for the bottom of a word. So if you had OD to end a word, you wouldn't need this because this is clearly, sorry, this is clearly OD. OD. It, H would have its bar there. So the H is mandatory dash on the bottom and the D is mandatory dash on the top. Reverse it and they're optional. So what that means is we can now save a stroke and actually connect the O right into it. If you're careful with your pen, you can do it without lifting. So there's H-O. Now, O-B, there's some combinations we can use here. First, we could put the B on the outside, or we could put the B on the inside. So let's put one B on the outside and one B on the inside for now, just to keep it interesting. And now I, well, this is normally B, and this is normally I. What you can do to save a stroke is do this. So what we could do is come off of that and loop around like so. And now we've got a B-I. And then T we could add like so easily. Hobbits are short. That character is particularly short and kind of chubby. That's not bad. Let's see what else we can do with it. Well, we could make the O bigger and we could put both the B's on the inside. And then that would leave us with an I. And then we could put a T like so. That's not very evenly balanced. I'd probably put the T there. Okay, that's starting to look a little maybe more like a person shape or something. Kind of looks like, I always find that this, these kind of shapes look like altars to me, but that could just be some kind of cultural or historical significance. Now, um, what else are we looking at here? The other combination would be H-O and now B. When you have two Bs, you can actually connect them like so, and instead draw them by putting two lines like that. You can then even merge those together like that. That is B-B. So if we use that version, what do we get? We get I-T or H-O. B, B, I. That is starting to really look like a person to me of some kind, some kind of stick figure. I'm liking that. I'd say one of these two are the ones you're going to want to start playing with if you really want to find a good logographic version, something that looks like what you're describing. We're almost there. Now let's see if we can't just aim for a square-shaped figure. I'm not going to try to make it look like a person anymore. I'm going to try to occupy a square space. Why do we do this with Descript? Because one of the main goals of Descript is to bring English up to the same level as Chinese, being able to express an entire meaning or word in a single character. I'm fluent in Chinese, and I often use my Descript along Chinese. It works beautifully. As long as you can bring it down to a square-like shape, you can then start mixing in Chinese characters with English and create your own combinations, and a whole new world of creativity will open up. So, let's try to make this a square. H-O, what do we have here? I have an I and a T, so I would say we're going to want to go inside, keep it evenly balanced. Now we can make the I a little bigger, bring the T down like so, Hobbit. Very nice and square shaped, I'm liking it.